Hi learners. Just wanted to take this opportunity to go over the patterns so that you know what they're going to look like when they're completed. And we're going to start with the Joe March coaster. This is what it's going to look like when you're done. It's got a nice little fringe on both sides. So it kind of looks like an old fashioned farm rug. And there's a little coaster. It's going to be four inches by about six inches with the fringe. And here's the pattern. This is in your box. And here's what the finished product is gonna look like. This is a garter stitch, so it's nice and tac tactile with a cute little fringe. And that is the Joe March coaster. This is your first project. And this is going to teach you bind off, cast on, and the knit stitch. Our next project is the Meg Coaster. And this one is patterned after the eldest March daughter. Here it is. Again, we have a, um, a garter stitch, but this is done with the pearl stitch, so it's nice and tactile. You can see this is vertically oriented, whereas the Joe March Coaster was horizontally oriented and we have four kicky little tassels at the corners to give this just a fun elevated appearance and again this is the Meg coaster and this is your second project and this is going to teach you the purl stitch our third coaster is the Beth coaster now as you can see in this one, not only are we learning the cheater's method of casting on, but we're going to do a knit and a purl stitch in the same row. And what we're going to end up with is this beautiful seed stitch, beautiful texture, four inches square, seed stitched coaster. So isn't that lovely? And finally, our most challenging pattern is going to include um, learning the stockinette, which is knitting on one side and purling those same stitches on the other to create that classical knit fabric right there in the middle. It's called stockinette. All this edge is called garter stitch, and this is stockinette, and this is our fourth and final pattern. This is the most challenging, but I think you'll be ready for it. So here are the four coasters. The Joe Coaster, the Meg Coaster, the Beth Coaster, and the Amy Coaster. And while these are very small projects, I wanted every learner to experience the satisfaction of finishing a project. So these four projects are very small. Yes, they should take you between 25 and 40 minutes to complete each one as you're learning. Um, future projects will be bigger. Future projects will uh, be fingerless gloves, a lunch sack, um, a bedtime cozy. We've got some really exciting projects coming. Um, these four are just meant to get you started to feel the satisfaction of a completed project and to work on multiple skills um, intensely through each project. So I hope you enjoy them. I'm really excited about our next box. Happy knitting!